Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, this week, I thought I might take a little break from the homestead. I'm going to take a week vacation. My older boy and I are going to head down to Big Bend National Park down in Texas, do some sightseeing, some hiking, maybe some floating. Uh, then we're probably going to head up toward Carlsbad Caverns and see that. So if you're at all interested in that, love to have you come along and join us. So uh, we'll get this show on the road, as they say. So we stopped off on our way to Big Bend here in Oklahoma at the Wichita Mountains National Wildlife Refuge. Uh, kind of a neat place, it's got a lot of neat mountains. It looks like granite, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but uh, it's kind of entertaining stop. It's about a mile hike we're gonna do, and then we'll get back on the road. This lichen growing on these rocks, that is actually real. It looked like neon paint someone had splashed on it. That's actual, that's actual lichen on there. That is interesting. It's like neon green. It's only growing in this one area. Well, everybody, we are back at the trailhead already. We took about an hour or something like that, maybe round trip. We went up to Post Oak Falls and we almost made it to uh, like Valley of the Boulder or something like that it's called. Uh, it's definitely worth the time. If you're in, what is it, southwestern Oklahoma sometime, it's definitely worth the time. You could spend probably a whole day here pretty easy hiking around. There's a lot of trails. It's really pretty out here. But uh, we have to get back on the road, but I would definitely recommend this. This is a Wichita Mountains National Wildlife Refuge, I think it is. Uh, there's elk out here and there's buffalo. While we didn't see any in the park, we saw some up the road a ways. So anyway, uh, we're gonna get back on the road. Well, we were leaving the park and we actually did get to see a buffalo alongside the road here. A pretty big one. Oh, and there's another one, if you can see it from here, another one right over there. So there are definitely buffalo in the park. is crazy but uh, we took another little side trip on our way to Big Bend and we're on Davis Mountain the McDonald Observatory I believe it's called 
Uh, it's really pretty up here, rather windy, and it's kind of a lot of sand in the air from the wind, so it's not real clear, but uh, uh, really probably worth the extra drive. It's about an extra hour added to the trip if you're coming from the direction we came from, like from Arkansas direction. But uh, anyway, uh, something else to put on your docket maybe if you're heading this way. It's worth a little side trip. Everybody, uh, we made it in. Uh, it's about 15 hour drive from where we live down to Big Bend National Park. We're staying in Terlingua. It's the closest town there is to the park. Uh, got this little cabin place. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's not too bad at all. Uh, not a real good view. You get a view of the U-Haul trailer across the street, but uh, it's not bad. And uh, so tomorrow we will head into the park it's supposed to be another windy day, so it might be really dusty. So we're thinking uh, to kind of do a drive through the park. And there is a hike at the far end. We're looking at possibly doing that. But uh, I'll let you know as we go. Well, everybody, that pretty much wraps up day one of the road trip. Uh, the next day, we will be heading into Big Bend, and I'll send you those videos uh, once we do that. So uh, anyway, hope you all have a great week, and hope to see you all down the trail.